Ryan here. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Now obviously the mechanicals of your vehicle are paramount to its operation. Uh, it really doesn't matter how good a car looks or how safe it is if it never leaves your garage. Uh, but today we are going to talk about restoring plastics. Now the Xterra has a lot of plastic on it, as I'm sure you know. The whole front bumper, down the side you have some uh, little bumper guards, the whole back end, around the windows, uh, it really feels like it's endless. My, my Xterra, it's about 10 years old now, so the plastics are starting to really fade. Now, I decided to pick up some uh, plastic restore offline, and uh, I chose what's called Meguiar's Ultimate Black. Uh, it was only a few bucks online, it was like seven or eight dollars on Amazon. Um, showed up in just a few days, and I want to uh, start making this plastic look a little bit better. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to actually apply the plastic restore uh, properly and uh, to kind of get the best results for it. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a cotton pad or, uh, or shop rags, whatever I happen to have around here. Uh, just do a few coats of it and it's supposed to last pretty long. Uh, it's supposed to really improve the look of the vehicle and uh, I'll show you some before and after photos when we're done. So let's get started. Okay, so the instructions on uh, the actual product itself are pretty straightforward. Uh, really, it's make sure the bottle's shaken up, uh, take it on a clean cloth, and apply it to the surface, let it dry, and then uh, do it two or three more times if, uh, if it's really neglected like this particular panel is. Uh, I'm wearing gloves because it says uh, avoid uh, prolonged exposure to your skin, and obviously Rubbing it on here is really going to uh, really going to get it on your hands. So just throw on some gloves; you don't have to worry about it. Now I just have a regular shop rag. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned. Uh, this car's 10 years old, and it's my project truck, so I have something that's a bit abrasive. Uh, if you do have something that's abrasive and you're worried about scratching the plastic, uh, just get like a 100% cotton towel or uh, even a, an application sponge for a wax. So. Uh, I'm just going to, I have one rag here that I'm going to use for the application of the product and then I have another rag uh, that, to wipe off any excess. If you get any on the paint, uh, wipe it off as quickly as you can. You don't really want to leave it on there for any prolonged period. Uh, this is not for clear plastics, it's not for um, fiberglass, paint, really anything like that. It's only for these uh, cheap awful plastics that we're trying to restore. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit here. And then uh, if there's anything of note to tell you on other spots that I'm going to do, I'll, I'll certainly let you know. So I'm going to grab a little bit, grab my wet rag. Just put some on here, especially on vertical surfaces. Uh, you're not going to like, you know, squirt it or whatever. Up on the cowling on the hood or even on the back bumper. You know, if you want to pour some on right out of the bottle, that's fine. But on the side, uh, don't even worry about it. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. Rub it in here, and then just continue this process all the way down the side. So I stopped here to show you what an absolutely massive difference this is making. So far, I'm very pleased. Now, this plastic looks almost brand new. This is only after one coat of this stuff. So uh, I'm going to go back and do some touch-up because there's a little bit of discoloration, uh, you know, that I just didn't get enough actual solution on. Uh, I'm going to go over it again, maybe even a third time, since this is the first time that I'm doing it. Uh, but take a look, this is a pretty big difference. Uh, it's even evening out the colors, so if you see here there's a little bit of bright white and then some gray and then some darker here, and then even if you kind of scratch it it gets dark. Uh, it's really resolving all of that. This looks like brand new trim. Uh, and especially since I've been pricing out some trim to replace it, uh, this is a heck of a lot cheaper of an option. So. Pretty excited. I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm especially going to hit around the uh, around the windows with this. Uh, there's some weird pieces up here that uh, that are really faded. And then, uh, if there's anything to mention, I'll mention it. When you're doing the rear of the truck, uh, I'm going to do the top bumper here. Uh, I already did this panel here, but make sure you open the actual tailgate. Don't just go around the edge of it. Uh, obviously, you're going to get when you open it. You're going to get a bunch of uh, uh, unfinished plastic up here, and then you're going to have your finished plastic exposed. Uh, also, this down here, the lower bumper is actually steel. Uh, it, mine looks faded. Uh, it looks just like this faded plastic, uh, but it's in fact uh, steel. So uh, 
I'll probably end up taking this off and painting this, uh, but don't try to restore it with the with the product. All right, on I go. All right, so around each window, uh, you have these corner pieces of trim uh, that are fading, that will fade along with the rest of the plastic. Uh, for some reason, it must just be whatever the composition of the rubber is. Uh, this is not fading, this is not fading, but you do have uh, two little corners here. There's also one uh, in the front of the front window and then three on each rear window. Uh, so really, uh, what, 12 total. So what I'm doing a little bit of a different tactic here, which is why I'm mentioning it. On these, they're a lot softer, so I'm actually just kind of getting a lot of, uh, of, the, uh, of the actual restore on my rag and just kind of globbing it on. And then what I'm doing is I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes while I do the rest of them. And then by the time you're done with the 12th one, you can kind of just go back over and uh, start wiping them off. And then uh, once you're done with the other 12, then you're pretty much finished. Now for your windshield trim, uh, make sure that you open the hood first. So that way you can kind of get this lower edge. And then once you close it, uh, you're not having to jam your fingers underneath the hood uh, to get the rest of this, to get the rest of this trim. Uh, this will be the last piece. Once this is done, uh, I'll kind of show you the results and then we'll talk about uh, some tips. Uh, I want to preface this next statement by uh, saying I don't have any affiliation with Meguiar's car care products, um, but holy sh uh, what an awesome result that I got from this. The classic feels newer, it feels more supple, uh, it's obviously a lot darker, it's all one solid color, there's no weird fading, uh, there's just, I mean it's really an awesome result. Now, for me, I feel like this car is like, looks a lot, I don't know, five years newer probably. Uh, now, a few things that I do wanna discuss uh, before you guys actually go out and do this are just a few tips uh, on how to actually use the product. Now, my first tip is the Nissan is obviously a utility vehicle. It's a, you know, like an SUV, uh, but it has like step sides on the rear bumper and obviously the rear bumper, the actual rear bumper, is kind of meant to be stepped on. Um, I would reconsider using this product on any surfaces that you are planning to step on. Uh, I did notice that the surfaces that I did restore, at least initially, are very slick. So uh, just be really careful on any places where you plan on treading uh, that, you're, that you uh, either take those off and paint them instead of using this kind of restore product or um, just not doing those sections. Uh, also the front, the, the trim in front of the windshield is a bit tough to kind of get all the little nooks and crannies. Uh, just when you're, when you're ready, flip up your windshield wipers and just use the old trick of uh, turning on your windshield wipers uh, inside your car and then flipping the ignition off when they're in the up row, uh, uppermost position so that way you can get underneath those areas as well. I was contemplating removing it uh, to kind of get everything. Uh, it's, you really don't have to. Just uh, flip up those windshield wipers and then uh, just get underneath. Uh, also, just because I used uh, this particular product, Meguiar's Ultimate Black, doesn't mean you have to, obviously. Uh, go pick out what's, what's right for you. And if you do decide to use a different product and try it out, definitely comment below and let me know, uh, let me know what you think of it. My biggest concern now is longevity. Now the bottle itself, of course, is long lasting, lost, you know, lasts longer than other products, whatever, um, and that's all great. But uh, we'll see you know, if my love affair with this product lasts. Hopefully it does, and hopefully this, uh, this nice sheen and this nice single color plastic uh, will last a while. For me, actually driving this car, uh, it's, I don't drive it very frequently, actually. I, it's probably spent more time uh, in front of this camera than it has on the road. So for me, it's probably gonna last longer, but regardless, uh, I'll probably do an update. I'll comment or I'll write in the description of this video uh, how, what my experience has been, basically how long has it lasted, uh, what things affect the look. Um, obviously, we know the sun's going to, and then also you know, rain or any uh, car care products you use on it, uh, any scrubbing or washing that you do will of course affect how long, uh, how long this product actually lasts. Secondly, uh, basically why do this, right? Well, the most obvious reason is the look. I mean, look at it. it it's just, it looks way, way better than it did before. Uh, but also, 
the, at least on the bottle, it claims that it's also UV protectant. So it's gonna help alleviate the fading in the future. So effectively, you're, gonna, you're trying to initially not only restore the original look of the plastic, but also kind of keep it this way, uh, keep it going. So what you want to avoid is sun bleachings um, or cracking from the sun that will obviously uh, drive you to replace the trim, which is a heck of a lot more expensive than uh, this plastic restore. All in all, I'm probably, gosh, between the actual, the restore itself and a few rags and a few pair of gloves, I'm, I'm probably into this entire project for $10. Uh, it took me about, about an hour to do the initial rub down. Uh, that, that's including making this video. So, you know, I'm moving the camera around, doing these shots. Uh, it would probably take you about a half an hour, 45 minutes to do this, uh, at least initially. And then, you know, just kind of make it part of your regiment when you do, you know, a full scale detail on your car, just make plastic restoring uh, part of your, part of your uh, job. And then you can look forward to some nice plastic in the future. So if you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you know, remember, always put them in the comments below. And uh, until then, thanks. Talk to you soon.